Elon Musk and Gavin Newsom are getting into a bit of a dispute because of a law that California passed. So they passed a law that's a good law that stops teachers from outing students to their parents, LGBTQ plus students, to be clear. Um, and because of this law, Elon Musk is throwing a temper tantrum and he's saying he's going to move uh, Twitter and Tesla to Texas from California. Now, Elon Musk is like the worst parent ever because he has a trans daughter who doesn't want anything to do with him because he's a bigot. And a lot of his bigotry stems from his rejection of his trans daughter. So, you know, he's just a shit person in general. But let's get, go through some of this here because I want to explain specifically like why this law is necessary. Uh, and I feel like it's pretty obvious, right? But, you know, it does need to be spelled out sometimes. So Elon Musk said Tuesday he would move the headquarters of social media platform X and rocket maker SpaceX out of California after the state's governor, Gavin Newsom, approved new protections for transgender and gay students in schools. The law, signed by Newsom on Monday, prevents schools from requiring staff to notify parents whose children show signs of being transgender or sharing information about their sexual orientation. We'll come back to this. The law was drafted in response to a so-called parents' rights movement that has seen at least seven school boards in the state pass rules within the last year that forced teachers to tell parents if their child starts using a name or pronoun that doesn't match their sex assigned at birth. Now, this is just outing. Those school districts that did that, they're just requiring teachers to out students to their parents when those kids are very clearly not ready to come out. Um, and the reason why this is bad, one, is because outing is objectively bad, and two, because you are subjecting these teenagers to abuse. There's a reason why they're not telling their parents that they're gay or trans if they happen to be gay or trans. It's because they feel like they wouldn't be safe. It's because they feel like they might be kicked out of the house or beaten. So for these school districts to say, if you're a teacher and you see signs that they're gay or trans, you have to report that, you are literally endangering that child's life. Uh, life. So it is despicable that there's this new push to try to get teachers to out students to their parents. I think that there's a lot that teachers should be disclosing to parents. That's not, you know, that's not to say that you have to keep information from parents. Of course, teachers should be as open and honest and transparent with parents as they can be. But they also need to be able to make executive decisions. They need to know when maybe a child is apprehensive about coming out to their parent. You don't get to make that decision for them. And so I don't even know what this means, which is why I kind of highlighted this. If they show signs of being transgender, what does that even mean? And I shouldn't have to explain why outing is bad, but outing is bad. Listen, I was outed when I was 22 years old. It was one of the most traumatic things I have ever experienced. And the mental health uh, conditions that impact me today, uh, they were catalyzed by my outing because it was so stressful because when you're outed, you don't get to control who knows and who doesn't know. You don't get to control the narrative and explain to people your side of the story, somebody else takes that from you. They take away your autonomy and they endanger you. Thankfully, I was older. So, you know, it wasn't necessarily a situation where I felt like I would be beaten by my parents. Like I'm 22 years old at that point, right? But I still was threatened with violence. My parents were threatened with violence. Um, and it's because, you know, the person who outed me, they weren't advocating for me. They were trying to rally people against me. I've talked about all this in my coming out video. But I saw this to say, like, if you do this to a child where they're not old enough, like I was, and they have nowhere else to go, like they could literally get beaten. Or if they're kicked out, where do they go? They sleep on the streets. I mean, there's a reason why uh, LGBTQ plus youth are so susceptible to homelessness uh, and abuse. It's because of parents like this. And listen, if you're concerned that your kid might be gay or trans and they're not telling you, and you suspect that they might be gay or trans and they're not telling you, there's probably a reason for that. It's because they don't trust you. They don't think you're going to accept them, and they may even think that you might bring them harm. Now, I expect this stupidity from Elon Musk 
But what I don't expect is this level of stupidity from individuals who should know better, like Brianna Wu. And I don't usually respond to things like this because I don't like the drama farm if, if I don't need to. Um, but this is just this is just wrong. And her own argument, like it's self-defeating. And by the way, what Doe says here is absolutely correct. Like to support this uh, or not support this law from California, you're effectively taking a pro-child abuse position. So she says, this is going to be unpopular uh, or be an unpopular opinion. I think teachers should alert parents if their kids are trans at school. California's law is bad. You think that teachers should alert parents if their kids are trans at school. This is somebody who's trans who should know how devastating that would be if they were outed and then that parent decided to reject them and potentially beat them or kick them out. Like, why would you say something like this if you know what it's like? Cause, and I say that because, you know, you go further down here. She said, I was a queer kid with crazy right-wing parents who disowned me the second I came out. Right. Therefore, you should be able to logically deduce that other kids are going to have the same experience and maybe it's worse than them just getting disowned that's bad enough but what if they get beaten to take this position just to appease the new right-wing audience you've cultivated is so disgusting why is it that everybody you know who's lgbtq plus dave rubin blair white brianna Wu, they can't just say look i'm conservative now they have to throw their own community under the bus as well it's it's ridiculous right now there is a reason why they have to do that it's because Right-wingers don't like them. And so you have to, I guess, um, sacrifice your community to prove to them that you're worthy. But then they're never going to accept you, Brianna Wu. But she says, I do understand the risk. But if the school is aware of the situation, there are state resources and CPS if that child ends up homeless or abused. But you don't have to subject them to that in the first place. That's what doesn't make any sense. If you know that there is a risk of child abuse, then why would you put a child in that predicament why would you open up the possibility if the teenager or the preteen doesn't feel comfortable why would you force them to be outed when they're not ready like you are not just subjecting them to short-term temporary abuse you are fucking up their entire life potentially again when i was outed that trauma that i felt has uh stood with me till this day right i developed a panic disorder at that time and that has not gone away. I'm 36 now. The panic disorder that I developed when I was outed because I was so stressed out and I had my first panic attack, that is still with me till this day. You don't have to do this to kids just to show that you're like pro-parent or whatever. You can be pro-parent and not be cruel to kids. Like I just, I guess I don't understand why you you have to open up the possibility that these kids will be abused. It's just, it's deeply, deeply cruel. And there is already so much that queer kids have to go through there's a reason why the suicidality rate and depression rate is so much higher among lgbtq plus youth this right here is going to exacerbate that problem and for somebody like brianna Wu, who is a member of the community to say that this is okay it's so fucking disgusting so anyone who thinks that this is a good idea they're just pro child abuse period end of story if a teen does not want to come out to their parents forcing a teacher to tell their parents that's just cruel that's just evil i'm sorry i don't have anything else to say about that no notes that's it you're just you're a bad person you're subjecting people to violence i guess because who cares right if us older queer people we're done with that process for the most part our parents know our siblings know our family and friends know uh so it doesn't matter so fuck the next generation right i guess uh, is that the logic i genuinely don't know i'm you know i'm not going to try to psychoanalyze brianna Wu here but like older generations are supposed to protect future generations like i genuinely feel like you know the lgbtq plus people that came before us did everything in their power to set us up going forward to live our best lives so we have to do that ourselves for the next generation we have to keep building with each subsequent generation but what brianna Wu is doing is saying you know what fuck this next generation i'm gonna make it harder for them it was hard for me uh fuck them out the kids uh out them all doesn't matter because republicans think that you're against parental rights if you don't do that or something i, I don't know but yeah it's it's fucking sick <laughs> Thank you.